everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Elizabeth and today we're going to be doing a part two on debunking myths about the guitar. If you haven't seen part one, you can click right up here and check it out. So let's just get right into it. Myth number one, beginners need to start on an acoustic guitar. I believe you should start on whatever instrument you want to learn how to play. If you want to learn how to play an electric guitar, then start by learning on an electric guitar. Starting on a specific instrument in hopes that it'll maybe make it easier transitioning to another one doesn't really work. If you want to learn how to play baseball, you don't start with another sport and then gather information from there and try to translate it. Start where you want to start and then grow from there. Myth number two, beginners need a cheap guitar to start. This is just wrong. If you want a more in-depth explanation of what I think about this, you could click the link right up here and watch the video where I sort of break down the pricing for guitar. But to give a short summary, if you go out and buy a toy guitar or a really cheap one, it may discourage you from wanting to continue. Now, do you need to go out and buy a $300 guitar your first time? No, absolutely not. But investing in a quality instrument is very important. Number three, tone wood doesn't affect guitar tone. Just to clarify, tone wood is simply the wood that's used to build a guitar. Now, the reason we're debunking this myth today is because if you use different materials to make an instrument, then of course that's going to affect the way that that instrument sounds. The same way a pot could be made out of clay, stainless steel, copper, or even cast iron, guitars can be made out of different woods, and that affects the tone of them. Now, some people swear by certain types of tone woods, and to the untrained ear, all guitars pretty much sound the same. But yes, the difference in woods does have an effect on how your guitar will sound. Myth number four, skill is based off of how long you've been playing. Skill is defined as the ability to do something well or to hold expertise in an area. And while yes, if someone's been playing an instrument for 10 years, they'll definitely have more skill than someone who's just beginning. But that doesn't mean that skill is defined by how long you've been practicing something. Practice and commitment is what will make you better. Some people have been playing for a very long time, but they never progress past a certain point. Others take in as much knowledge as they can and become prodigies. Obviously, there's sort of a spectrum and you'll land somewhere on it. But skill is based off of experience and dedication. Myth number five, don't practice technique if you want to play rock. I think there's this idea where people who know how to absolutely shred on the guitar are wildly different than those who play classical music. Whereas these styles of music are very different, I can promise you that both of those musicians have a very deep understanding of music theory and technique. Yes, there are some very famous guitar players who were never formally trained in music theory, but they all have the foundational knowledge of how music works. Music theory is very important to know, whether you want to shred like Jimi Hendrix or you want to perform like John Williams. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you or someone you know wants to learn how to play guitar or ukulele, you can go to my website and book your first lesson today. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Lessons by Elizabeth. Links in the description box down below. And hey, I post every single Friday. So I'll see you next week. Bye!